Uh, my name is Ed Mendoza, and uh, my dad's name was John Mendoza, and my mother's name was Hortensia Luna, and uh, my grandma was Irene Luna, and my grandpa was Magdaleno Luna. And that's where I come from. And, uh, Some of the best things I've ever done what I did a long time ago. And maybe some of the best things I might do are up ahead. But all I know is I'm just gonna keep trying to do good things, you know, for myself, for my family, for my relations, for my community, for this Mother Earth, you know, to see if I can somehow make a make it a better world, you know. Inspire me. grandson's little motorcycle here. He likes to ride that. Well, you know, just follow the truth, follow your heart, you know, and whatever that, you know. Yeah. And that's, that's, very, that's very revolutionary if you really think about I really think hard about some of the things, uh, different things I, I have done, but I guess all, uh, all in all, since I was a little boy, basically, I'm a I'm working class people and I always was close to growing food. This chili here is called, called the Fresno. Very easy to grow, very prolific. Inspiring. A lot of trees that I planted are dead. A lot of things that I planted didn't make it. But I, I'm very happy that some of the things that I planted are still growing right now. Some things that I planted 30 years ago are still growing. And that, that makes me happy. Got a Tacoma stand here, a mesquite tree here, two uh, white willows, use that for medicine, headache. And I, I think my children are gonna remember that. Even if the tree someday dies from old age or something, uh, Grandpa, he, he planted a lemon tree right there and we ate a lot of lemons off of that tree when I was young. And the tree got old and either we killed it, didn't take care of it, or it just died of old age, which trees do. They have their, you know, trees will die of old age, you know. They live a long time, but they're like us. Probably the similar uh, heat level as an jalapeno, maybe a teeny bit less, but good flavor. Forever. I went to the university and, and learned a scientific approach to gardening and farming, but uh, for years I also uh, worked in uh, large-scale large scale agriculture and, uh, and medium and small size production. My most favorite thing is just grow my own garden at my home and do it in a permacultural style, if you will, or one that is most uh, it's the most rewarding, I guess, because also you do, you're doing a design of how things are going to work together and watching nature be a little bit more natural than, okay, then I just go grow a row of cabbages or something. Uh, but all that over the years, I have trained and uh, uh, seen many great farmers travel around the world, seen gardens from Africa to South America to Europe and was uh, really uh, afforded a way to get that way and to teach. Uh, I've done ceremonies all the way down to South America, uh, Central America, and uh, over the United States mostly. And I've uh, put in a prayer down for water, locations of water, and for the people, people all over the world. So those are some of the things that I, I have done. Uh, 
uh, some of my uh, little artsy hobby type of things that I don't really, uh, I enjoy doing. I like writing poetry. I do uh, like writing uh, uh, movie scripts, which I've almost completed. Another, uh, this be my second completion of a movie script, which uh, I think is going to be a good one. I've done acting in uh, primarily in one movie, but a couple other s small parts. Uh, but that's what I enjoy the most. I work for, right now. I work teaching with kids, which I really, really enjoy. Um, I worked in prisons, uh, doing ceremonies, helping people that were incarcerated in institutions uh, become better individuals, rehabilitation. So when they come out, they're better. And also with juveniles, I did that in a, a program. Uh, that particular program was more uh, agricultural. But again, did sweat lodge and the ceremonies for years in all the prisons in Arizona that were around at that time. Oh, uh, probably if somebody asked me about all the different things I've done, but the best thing I've ever done is have 11 beautiful children. And they in turn gave me some beautiful grandchildren. Uh, was uh, married to uh, uh, three lovely women and uh, that didn't all work out, but uh, I still pray for them and still love them very much. And uh, my life is good now. I'm very independent and I get to travel and, uh, and my kids are pretty much all grown up. So now I have the opportunity to go out and spread words of peace and love and uh, knowledge and dreams and visions of the spiritual understandings uh, through various places. But mostly I travel to Mexico where I have all my relatives and where I'm originally from, my grandparents were born there. And so I go back to the place where my water comes from. And uh, uh, I, I'm just my other home. Even though I'm home here where I'm standing, where I'm sitting here right now is my home. Uh, and all my family is all surrounding me, but I also have my, uh, my other family in Mexico, again, uh, where I come from. So uh, I will go down there. I like it a little bit more. Uh, not too much the city, but out in the out in the jungle, out in the desert. Uh, have, so I have a lot of relatives down there, and uh, I just enjoy being around with people, praying with people, and then, and then when I'm not, I enjoy just being at home alone and watching the sunsets, and that's okay with me. But uh, I'm very happy to uh, that I brought the children that I have in this world, and uh, I love them all very much. I miss the ones that I haven't seen in a while. My little three that are in in the country of Canada, but uh, fortunately all my other children are very close and I will see them all tomorrow. And we have a big feast tomorrow and we're going to have a lot of food and, uh, and be together. But as long as I'm in nature, I'm okay. Go out and collect plants, herbs, things, uh, survive out in the desert, out in the jungle. Uh, that's my world. It's not only until just recently I became civilized and got and got hooked up to electricity and some of the conveniences of life, but uh, they say I should have that now that I'm getting older now. But uh, I don't know, I still feel like I'm a very young man. But nobody believes me anymore. So I'll just have to be uh, go on and uh, enjoy life as much as I can.